Hello everyone, in this video I'll be speaking about an important component of cardiac physiology which is cardiac output. So what is cardiac output? Cardiac output is the product of heart rate and stroke volume. So if you say product, you should understand it's the mul multiplication, right? So cardiac output equals heart rate multiplied by stroke volume. So in this formula you see heart rate and stroke volume. So heart rate is the number of heartbeats per minute, okay? And the stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected by the ventricle in a single single contraction. To demonstrate uh, what is stroke volume, you should understand it like it's the difference between the ventricular and diastolic volume and the ventricular and systolic volume. In other words, ventricular and diastolic volume is the number of the, the, the volume of blood that is left behind the heart at the end of the diastole. Okay, at the end of the diastole, the blood the, the blood volume that is accumulated in the heart ventricle is called ventricular and diastolic volume. And ventricular and systolic volume is the the, the residual or uh, the, 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 the remaining blood in the heart at the end of systole. So if you subtract those volumes, you get the net volume that is ejected by the ventricle in a single contraction. And I repeat, stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected by the ventricle in a single contraction. So this is what I demonstrated by this formula. Okay. So what are the factors that influence the stroke volume? The first is it is a preload. Preload, what does it mean by preload? So you should understand it is the tension, okay, tension of the myocardial fibers at the end of diastole. At the end of the diastole, it's like you know a pulling force that the tension of the myocardial fibers at the end of the diastole. So when the ventricle gets uh, uh, filled by the blood at the end of the diastole, you get the tension of the myocardial fibers, right? So this is what you call as preload. I mean, that is just before the onset of ventricular contraction, okay? Before the ventricular contraction, it is the end of the diastole. And it's therefore related to the degree of the stretch of the fibers. So to, to, to understand the relationship of the preload and uh, the heart stroke volume as the end diastolic volume of ventricle increases okay as the end diastolic volume means the volume that is you know at the end of the diastole there's a volume right when it increases the tension in the myocardial fibers increases as well and therefore the stroke volume increases it's simple as that so the next factor that influence the stroke volume is the afterload. So afterload, which you can see by the picture, it is the myocardial wall tension developed during systolic ejection. So myocardial, the preload means the myocardial tension at the end diastole. Afterload means developed during systolic ejection. Okay. For example, in the case of left ventricle, the resistance imposed by the aortic valve and uh, the peripheral vascular resistance and the elasticity of the major va blood vessels are the major determinants of the afterload. Okay. At the, at the, since this is developed during ejection, systolic ejection, you know, uh, the resistance imposed by the aortic valve also should be considered as well in the peripheral vascular resistance and the elasticity of the major blood vessels as well. So ventricular wall tension will also be increased, you know the relationship, I mean ventricular wall tension will also be increased by ventricular dilation. The more it is dilated, the, the tension of the ventricular wall will increase. Uh, and increase in intraventricular pressure or a reduction in ventricular wall thickness. 
you know the more uh, ventricle dilation the ventricle wall tension also increases and in increasing the pressure of the intraventricular pressure it also increases the ventricular wall tension and also the reduction of the ventricular wall thickness the more uh, thin it is the ventricle the ventricle tension will increase so the more the most important thing you should understand is the decreasing of the afterload it could be due to exercise sepsis or vasodilator agents it can increase the stroke volume okay achieved at a given preload while reducing myocardial oxygen consumption in other words the blood uh, is uh, ejected very fast so uh, when when decreasing the afterload it will the stroke volume increases yeah so that means the, the blood will eject very fast and the myocardial uh, the, the the heart you know the the time that is taken to for the heart to absorb the oxygen it is very less you know it's because it's the the, the blood pumps very fast you know the stroke volume it increases means it's, it's going it, it, it ejects the whole the whole uh, the blood and uh, without uh, you know you know keeping less blood inside the heart so the myocardial oxygen consumption is decreased so the third factor that influences the stroke volume or the cardiac output is the myocardial contractility so the work done by the heart depends on the myocardial contractility independent of the changes in preload and afterload so to demonstrate this concept of myocardial contractility we can see the graph as you can see on this screen uh, the cardiac output and the end diastolic volume as you can see that when the end diastolic volume or the preload when it increases the cardiac output increases but in each of these three graphs there's a there's a constant that differs and in each three graph this constant is not the same that is the myocardial contractility okay so the the more contractile the muscle uh, it is increased contractility so so for for a given number of preload it gives a lot of it's it gives a higher number of cardiac output so f this is for increased contract contractility so if if the contractility is decreased the for a given preload the cardiac output it increases but it's reduced compared to the increased contractility so with that said we come to an end of this video and if you do benefit from this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and please do not forget to join my facebook group which is called medvis club medvis club it's a mastermind group so i'll be sharing all my videos uh, in this group as well so take care peace